Hey everybody, Vince here. Just wanted to let you know before we get things started that this episode unfortunately has a bit of an audio issue with it. If you were listening to the previous episode, you probably would have caught on that during the back half, a bit of static started coming in through the recording. Unfortunately, Anthony's cable, his USB cable to his microphone was damaged at some point. And the result is that every time that microphone picked up any input, a sort of static feedback would play through as well. There was no way I could fix it. I tried my best, but I'm just not an audio guy. And unfortunately, it is persistent throughout this episode as well. Uh, the file itself is still, I would say, manageable. I mean, you can get through it, but at the same time, I understand if you find it to be too annoying to listen to. Unfortunately, that's just how it works. These things happen, and we're still trying to wrap our heads around this new audio setup. But we'll push on through, and we'll get through it. So thanks again for your support. Hopefully the episode's not too bad, and you guys enjoy. Happy New Year. See you soon. It's January 1st, 2022. Happy New Year. Dude, first day of the new year. And you're listening to the Three Nerds of the Basement podcast. I'm Vince. I'm Anthony. And this is the Geek Chic Culture Show. We're talking about all the cool things in the whole wide world, except this week is a very special week. It's the, the most sp- important week. Because today, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2021 award show. Hell yeah. Where Anthony and I review the year that's gone by and tell you what we thought was the best and worst and everything in between and battle it out for supremacy. Yeah, Who's the coolest nerd? Absolutely. Whose opinions reign supreme? Mine. No. <laughs> Are you sure? Absolutely. We'll figure it out. We will. We'll figure it out. If you just came from the Listener Awards episode, then you know how this works out. We got a bunch of categories. We got a bunch of nominees. And me and Anthony will then decide between ourselves what it is we have to fight out about. Yeah. Seems simple enough. It's It seems simple until... But it isn't. Because it's a wild card. Absolutely. If uh, we can't come to a decision, if we can't civilly agree on my pick... <laughs> then we have to call our tiebreaker, Producer TJ. Normally, Producer TJ is here beside us, silent. But today, no, he is not. He's busy. Yes. So yes. we, we got to call him up on the telephone. Yeah, we do. We have him on speed dial. So whenever we need him, we'll get him. And the thing is, is like TJ can pick between ours, or he can just pick his own. Yeah, if he doesn't like the nominees, that if he doesn't like our nominees, him, he can just say "fuck you guys." Yeah, this is, and we have to accept it. And it's one of those moments where we're like, like oh, "fuck," because yeah. the Latina does win on this video. Because <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say this right now: there's something that TJ got into this year, very deep, yeah. that could ruin it for all of us. It could. It's true. You know what that I'm talking of? K-pop, Genshin Impact. Oh, he also got into Genshin Impact. That's true. But he, dude, when we went out for chicken that one day, and he just started rattling off K-pop stars, I was like, "What the fuck? Where did this come from?" That's true. He does know all the K-pop stars now. I don't know why. And not even like the old ones, not the like the new ones. Yeah, man, what's he doing? What's he doing over there? I don't know. He's we gotta figure it out. Stuff. We got an intervention. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just gonna quickly pull up my nominees. And no, players. you have to go in blind. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> really? No, no, really? Okay. okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll go down the list. Uh, for people who are new, mm-hmm. we have a bunch of awards. Our, our, as it goes, we have hottest female, hottest male, most underappreciated, disappointment of the year. Yeah. We have late to the party. Right. Best meme. Everyone loves memes. Memes. Okay. <laughs> May <May-mays. laughs> It's the best May May. Uh, best surprise, which is just something you didn't expect, and you're like, oh, that's pretty good. They came yeah. this year. Yeah. Um, never got around to it award. Uh, something that can't, had to have come out this year, and you just didn't get around to hmm. experiencing it. Hmm. Uh, song of the year, TV show of the year, movie of the year, and game of the year. And at the very end, we have best of the year. Best of the year, you say? Um, best of the year is the we we take all the winners from all the categories, including the negative ones, and we put them all. 
together to battle to figure out yeah. what was the best thing in 2021. Mm-hmm. I think I, I got a good idea of what it's going to be. No, you don't. I think I do. You have no I clue. Think I do. You have no idea. It's the Omicron variant. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kept me inside a little bit longer. I heard that was a SDCC exclusive. It was, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was an exclusive color. That special yeah, Transformers yeah, yeah. Omicron. Special spike, spike protein Omicron. <clears throat> yeah, man. It was wicked. Okay. All right, but uh, do you have your list? Are you good? I do. I have my list pulled up, and I'm ready to battle. Do you, you want to start it off, or do you want me to start it off? I'll start it off. All right. Hottest female. Now, if you just came off of the listener episode, then I should preface this by saying that you probably will hear some repetition. I swear to God, if you put Zendaya in your list, I'm going to lose <laughs> my fucking mind. Because, as it should be, the listeners sh- probably will have Absolute similar opinions to the host. here opinions. So, if you hear some repetition, do not be alarmed. Be grateful. Be grateful. <laughs> Award us. My runner-up is Ana de Armas. No time to die. All right. All right. Okay. From 007. All right. Look her up. What a hot. What a, she's a cutie. Absolutely. She's, she's the hot. hottest shit. Mm, she's cute. Whoa. You know that if we have to battle and we call TJ... She wins automatically, I know, right? It's fucked up. But like, she's a runner. Good thing she's a runner up. Good thing she's a runner up. My number one though is a two D pick. Ooh. Okay. And it is also from S S S S Dynazenon. It is Mujina. Okay. The oh. girl villain. You gotta throw up a picture there. of this girl because I tried to look her up and I could not find it. You couldn't find Mujina? No, I could not find Mujina. Dude, so that's Mujina. That's just that's just a Japanese girl. You say this like you're not into Japanese that's just, women. That's just that's some plain ass shit. That's wow. like, dude, wow, so basic. I know what you're gonna, and pull I know up. she does the little hand thing. <laughs> She's like disappear, like whatever. What? What? All right, she has a little idol sign, and you're like, oh, di- make my pants disappear, baby. Like, I know. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I, I get your fanfic. Wow. So then what's the issue? Uh, the issue is that they're boring. Wow. Okay. Because my picks. Uh, some of the hottest ones this year. I swear to God. First up, runner up, also from No Time to Die. No. I pick Leah Sedu. No, you didn't. Dude. You think Leah Sedu is hotter Leah than Anna Ramos? I think Leah Sedu, Leah Sedu is hotter. Yo, fuck off. Get out of here. She's so hot. No, she's not. She's smoldering. No, she's not. Oh, my no, she's God. No, she's not. She doesn't deserve to be a Bond girl. Dude, what are you talking no about? No way. She's so no hot. No way. She might be Get out of here. one of the hottest Bond girls. You are lucky three. that we are arguing about <laughs> runners up because I'm going to just drop this argument. I don't know. Man. Dude, her... God, so hot. No. What are you talking? No. What do you got against no. her? That's fucked up. She's she's pretty. She's so But sexy. she ain't hotter than, than yes, the she other. Is. No, she's like, not. Like, by a long shot. No, she's not. Man. All right. But my runner, my, my runner up, sorry, my, my finalist, also 2D wife. Oh, fuck. My pick. I know is who it is already. Debonair Diamond. Yes. From Red Hood. From your canceled manga. Dude, look it up. Look All up right. Debonair All right. Diamond from Red Red Hood. Debonair? She is... A, she's smoking. Yeah, Debonair Diamond. Okay. Ooh, baby. Hold on. Ooh. The muscle chick? The muscle chick. Oh, fuck. For some reason, I thought it was some redhead girl. No, 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 no. no. The muscle chick. She's got... So, let, let me lay down, because I nobody read this th- shit other than I did. Yeah, I she know. She's literally the hottest girl. No, no, this is... this is, Yeah, I know, because of her power. Her you, power. You touch her, yeah. <sighs> but, this girl is so exactly... Only you would Dude, read this. Dude, hottest female like, here. What the fuck so are you talking for about? For the listeners, this, this girl is like Olympic level... Like yoked out, Rip. hell yeah! Much. Like she power lifts, yeah, absolutely. But she's also managed to keep like tits the size of turkeys. Hell yeah, dude! What? I don't listen. You don't, people don't like it, but this is what ideal performance looks like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is what peak performance looks like. I I just it's fucking yoked out of her mind. Hell yeah! And her personality is so hot blooded, dude. If you read it, you'd be into it. But I I'm didn't. Done. But you should have. 
right. So I think our number ones kind of cancel each other out because oh. we obviously did not interact with them at all. True. Oh, I know of. Now I remember her when I saw her. Yeah. 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 But like she's she's whatever. No, no she's hot. But for Bond girls, obviously Leah Sado. All right, call TJ. <sighs> Dude, Debonair Diamond. Call TJ. No, no, I, listen. Right, I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna give him all the picks. Did he? Hold on. Did he see No Time to Die? I don't know. I don't think he did. He knows who Anna Dormas is. Okay, but I'm, I'm but remember, yeah, he gets to pick his own shit. That's fine. Uh, you know what? At this point, as long as neither of your picks, dude, get, what the fuck I'm are you happy. talking about? I'll Lisa Do is so sexy. Happy. Are no, you kidding no, no, me? No, 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 that's no. What? All right, dude. It's literally the first category of our awards, and we already cannot decide. Sounds good. Uh, so it's hottest female. Uh, Vince, who do you have again? You have. I have. Uh, TJ, did you see No Time to Die? No. Do you oh. know who Anna de Armas is, though? Anna de Armas. Anna de, de Ar- Armas. She's the same actress from Blade Runner. And Which um. Knives Out. Yeah, that one. Yeah, she's a Knives Out. Yeah. She's a nurse, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and, and who else did you pick? Um, uh, Mujina from Dina Xenon, but I don't know if you, you watched that. Yeah, you might have to look up Dina Xenon. Mujina, Dina yeah. Xenon. I feel like is she the villain, villain girl? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I pick from No Time to Die. I pick Leah Sado. Okay, that I have to look up. Yeah, she's the the main. She's bon, bon, uh L E A space S E Y D O U X. She's the Bond girl inspector. Yeah, she's the Bond girl inspector. I have not seen that either. Don't worry, oh, you won't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then for my hottest, I picked Debonair Diamond from Red Hood. So you gotta look her up. This is 100% this is the, Anthony. This is the werewolf uh, thing I told you to read before, but it got canceled after like 18 chapters. Dude. What? I probably spelled this wrong. D-E-B-O-N-A-R-E. Oh, Diamond. Man. Yeah. Diamond. A-R-E. Yeah. Diamond. And then just put Red Hood, I guess. Oh, Red Hood. That's probably that's not coming up. Oh, it's coming up. Oh, it's coming up. Jack, the, the really Jack chick, hell yeah. <laughs> with like the one eye patch. Yeah, with the eye patch, she's like she's literally hot, like because her body melts steel. Fuck, man. Yeah, the picture I'm seeing is she's frying an egg on her abs. Hell yeah, baby, let's go. All right, so you remember though, if you don't agree with any of our picks, because we came to you to choose, you do have the ability to pick your own pick. This guy's gonna choose oh, his entire. God. He's oh, <laughs> if he picks. No, stop. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. Okay. It'd be fucked up. Leah Sado. Leah Sado. She was my runner up. Debonair Diamond. Yeah. Yeah, you would pick her. I would. <laughs> yeah, that's what I Hell said. Yeah, you would baby. pick her. Hell yeah. Definitely something you would pick. <laughs> then we got Anna De Armas and then Buchina. Yeah. Ah. Oh, man. Oh. I know. Oh, She's literally frying an egg on her abs. I know. It's hard. She can make you breakfast on her abs. I'm surprised you didn't pick Aquafina. Oh, I didn't pick Aquafina? Yeah. What was she in this year? Shang Chi. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh. She is a cutie. Th- she is a cutie. <sighs> but I don't know. Lisa Sado did something to me when I saw that movie. I don't know what to tell you. And she did an inspector. Uh, yeah. The inspector was a bad movie. Doesn't matter. Let's see. He's, he's, he's mulling it over. He's Googling some hotter he's Googling chicks. some hotter chicks. <laughs> <laughs> what porn stars did I see to this year? Oh, man. You know what? What? Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> he almost had it. He was, he was going to pick Haley Steinfeld. He was going to pick... <laughs> It's pretty fucking <laughs> cool, right? But also, ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculously hot. Yeah, literally. And figuratively. Uh, um. <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> Just say Zendaya. Don't say Zendaya. Don't say Zendaya. Oh, man. 
No! Oh no! No! <laughs> Why do you have to do that? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with energy at last. Oh! No eggs. Oh man. I'm sorry. She she would have been the second. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. We'll call you back. Thank you for confirming <laughs> what I already knew. I'm sad. <laughs> So safe. <laughs> I told you that's how it was gonna go. I said it. Just find eggs on her abs, dog. It's just not enough in this world. It's, you know what? You're right. She's underappreciated of the year. Wow. <laughs> no, you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> I'm gonna change my pick. Wait, Kate, thank you, Anna Ross. Come pick up your award. You can pick up for me directly. Debonair like. Diamond, you're the real winner. All right, next one is hottest male. Hell yeah. Andy, hottest hottest male got? of the year. Yeah. Runner up. Mm. Daniel Craig, No Time to Die. Really? Dude. Because he looked the worst in this movie. Yeah, but like, there's something about like the grizzled old man just like on his last legs. Dude. You want to talk about grizzled old men? All right. I'm not talking about grizzled. Listen, because my actual pick uh. is he didn't even show up. Like The thing that he was in didn't release yet. It was just the trailer that he was in. And I was like, hot damn. I understand. What the fuck? Robert Pattinson. Oh, as Batman. Does that count? He was. It was. A, I don't know, man. It was a thing that came out this year. I I took a risk on it. <laughs> like, cause I I want to give you it. Yeah. But like, does that count? Cause what happens next year? What else was he in? Hold on, Robert. Was he in something? Anything? No, but but what you're saying is, he specifically looks hot as Dude, the, Batman. the Batman. The Batman. And I would though. agree, but it. It wasn't out this but year. But the trailer for it came oh out. Oh my god! <laughs> that, my whole awards have been changed if we counted trailers. True. I could have been like Game of the Year was the trailer for fucking. If <laughs> <laughs> you play it, does it count? The demo then, right? The demo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. The, the OPM demo disc. Fuck. I don't Dude, know. Okay, man. if that doesn't count, yeah. I'll, I'll put Daniel Craig as number one. All right. All but right, Robert, right. Like, like, I saw him with his shirt off, and I was like. I understand all the Twilight girls. When he is outside of the douchey vampire shit, I understand the love of Robert Pattinson. Yeah, yeah, no, he's cool. Dude. He is absolutely. You didn't think he was good looking in Tenant? He looks wicked in Tenant. I didn't know he was in Tenant. I just knew the black guy was in Tenant. Wait, you didn't see Tenant? I didn't see Tenant. Oh. The fuck have you been? I do. I didn't, I, I've been in school most of the year. Oh, yeah. There are still have time to play fucking Tarkov. Dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> So who's your hottest runner-up? Uh, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Okay, respectable, respectable. I just really like him as a dude. He's a he built a PC. He's a cool looking dude. He paints, he paints Warhammer figures. Oh, oh he's a fucking loser. Absolutely, a nerd. He corrects people and tells them, "No, it, it's World of Warcraft. Oh. It is not the Warcraft. It is the Warcraft." <laughs> he's not playing the Nintendo. Uh, my sort of number one though. It shouldn't be surprised to anybody. It's Omni Man. Ooh, you actually picked Omni. I picked Omni Man. Interesting. Interesting choice. See the lengths they have to go to <laughs> to be as good looking as I am. <laughs> the older we get, the slower we age. Yes. So I stay eternally hot. <laughs> that's my pick. Dude, that's a good pick. That's, that's a good. That's pick. a pick. Honestly, until um until the listener awards, yeah. I forgot about Omni Man. Oh, he was like from the start. I was like, it's got to be Omni Man because like that's a character I like. The mustache, like. It's not really a character I would generally pick. Yeah. But he had such an impact. He rocks it, dude. Like he rocks it. Dude. You see him in those shirts? Those animated shirts? Yes. Tight. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tight shirts. Yeah, like talk about dad bod, you know? Woo -hoo. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Omni Man. You're right. Debonair Diamond is the winner wow. for hottest female lead. <laughs> wow. Wow, you're still on that, huh? I'm so upset. Uh, I told you where it was gonna go. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, you know what? Omni Man. That's an easy one. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. All right. Thank you, Omni Man. Thank Omni you. Thank you. Thank you for blessing us with, with your hotness. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Let's, let's forget about your actual morals and ethics. Well, yeah, yeah, actually, you should probably really forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> underappreciated. Ooh. Most underappreciated. Yeah. So for you, what do you have? What do you, what, how do you have this most underappreciated? So my first mention goes to Star Wars Visions. All right. And That's... I know that doesn't seem what? like an underappreciated. Yes. But the only reason I put it here is because I have a lot of Star Wars friends, and no one cared. Like, when the Star Wars fans don't care about the Star Wars anime, mm -hmm. that screams to me, 
anime is not quite there yet. Ooh, true. Right? True. I mean, like, there was a couple episodes here and there that I know I liked and other fellow anime fans liked. Mm -hmm. So all the trigger episodes. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But, like, Star Wars, Star Wars fans gave zero shits about it. Yeah. I, I, I see that happen. Right? But that's why it's my runner. My, my actual one is Ranking of Kings. Ooh. Because that was one, like, from the art style, from the outset, like, not for me. Yeah. But then we watched, and I was like, oh, fuck, this is real good. Real fucking good. And I should go back and catch up, but it's the holidays, and there's a lot of things I wasn't able to do. All right. My runner-up mm. for underappreciated of the year mm. is the Hunter's Guild Red Hood. Dude, this show got fucking... I guess, yes, this counts wow. considering it was canceled. Considering it was canceled after 18 chapters. That's so brutal. So, I, I just want to go over it again. So, the Hunter's Guild Red Hood was about uh, a, a town, a small town, hick town, getting taken over by werewolves. Yeah. And the mayor uses up all of his last funds to hire mm -hmm. a hunter from the G Hunter's Guild to take out the werewolves. Yeah. And... A bunch of stuff happens, and they learn that uh, the the like the hunters literally exterminated every dragon. Yeah. On the world, and they're trying to do that with werewolves. Mm. And as the story goes on, it's kind of crazy. And now we're getting into spoiler territory. The story, if it had gone on longer, and, and uh, unfortunately because it got canceled, I guess they got told pretty early in advance. Uh, because mm. after a certain arc, storylines just go like a mile a minute. It's insane. Really, um, but the whole sh show was actually uh, like a meta commentary on popularity of manga within Shonen Jump. Okay, because the main power or the the reason the dragons went extinct is because there is a book that exists within the universe that anything you write in it becomes reality Real, okay. and you can literally shape your own story within the world and the reason uh there's like forces outside of our like realm the i think it's like the readers so yeah like, what, who we are the audience who interpret what is exciting and so you have to keep writing an exciting story so you get so your world can live on so your series can get renewed and it's this whole meta commentary on like shonen jump just being a fucking mass producing factory rather than some actual art creative house and it's it's really fucking sick it's so cool and how they visualize all of the meta commentary and stuff and how it all works is so cool and if this got even like a hundred chapters i'm sure it could have been fleshed out way better than it was but i guess it maybe just started off too slow i don't know maybe people didn't like the main character he was a little feminine um but that was that was some of the best manga i read all year and this is your runner-up is my runner-up so you gotta okay what's your number one then because my number one is osama ranking ah dude that show's fucking sick it's so good all right holy all balls. right all right I don't think you need to explain to me then, because if we pick the same thing, shows real good. It is. You guys really should be watching Ranking of Kings. Like it is, what a show. Real good, baby. Like it's it's that that's an easy one. All it's right. An easy one. I'm glad we came to an agreement on that one. Finally. I know Ugh. it's about time. Jeez. <sighs> Ranking of King. 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 All right. Cool. Wicked. 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 The next one is the disappointment. Love the year. Did you want to go first? Yeah, I did. I, I oh, was disappointed shit. by a lot of anime this year. Oh, no. All right. My runner-up for Disappointment of the Year is Record of Ragnarok. Oh, no. Oh, I know your first one is then. Record of Ragnarok is such a cool manga. Uh -huh. It is mm -hmm. an amazing story premise. And if they didn't use this dog shit 2D, or sorry, 3D animation, it would look so much better <laughs> mm -hmm. because they kept pretty faithful to the manga there's not a lot if anything that has been cut out of these fights and to see them animated looks so cool yeah um but seeing them animated in the way that they are animated i don't like it <laughs> it's not great it's too bad it sucks but my winner for disappointment of the year is blue period i knew the it anime. yeah um holy fuck it it turned 
again, top three anime that I got, or manga that I got into this year. Because this, I think this came out, uh, originally debuted a couple years ago. Yeah. It's monthly chapters. Um, yeah, it's like one of the best things I've read about understanding art, um, especially from a layman's perspective. It does not come off as pretentious. Uh, it is expertly written, and the pacing in the manga is uh, done so deliberately, whereas in the anime, everything is running at a mile a minute. Nothing gets proper screen time or uh, time to reflect. Yeah. And it ruins the whole show based off of pacing alone. Like, this show is slice of life. It does not need to have crazy, ufotable level animations. All right? Like, it, it is a series about still art. Mm hmm. Okay? Uh, and they still fucked it up. Mm. I have no idea how they did that. So mad. <laughs> like, fucked it up real bad. They just did it. They should shut down that studio. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe how bad those first three episodes those were. Those first three episodes were dog shit. Yeah. Holy what Lord. a shame. What a shame. Yeah. Okay. Um, My picks are a bit more, let's say, altruistic. Okay. And not as specific. Because for my, my runner-up, I also picked the Activision Blizzard fiasco. Okay. All but right. not for the reasons you think. All right. Even though, you know, what it, what happened there was very bad. Mm -hmm. I'm just very upset of what has happened to Overwatch and everything surrounding it. What are you talking about? As in, it was like, this was the year, like, you know, we're supposed to get the sequel. But instead, the whole thing has just been left to die and rot. Daddy Kaplan knew when to jump off the boat, baby. I know, and it just it just makes me think about how sad I am. Because I love Overwatch. I still love Overwatch. Yeah, I don't know why. It's bad. This is coming from the fucking Mr. I love League. I hate League. I love League. I hate yeah, League. Yeah, and right now, I hate League. All right? <laughs> League's dog shit. But you know, some of our friends have been playing i've heard and i've been like new year new me i don't know <laughs> maybe it's changing <laughs> i heard all, i heard all my champions are good again <laughs> yeah but uh yeah no, so like that's that's really been my thing like i just i really i want to go back because like i i like other shooters mm. i like ape i like ape I'm really into Halo, mm -hmm. but nothing has bit like really grabbed me like Overwatch. And I don't think, and it makes me sad to think that I might not feel like there is another game that will. And that's why I want this one to come back, or at least mm -hmm. something that happened here, like just the multiple rehashes of the same events with no real innovation. Like there's no characters, there's no maps, there's nothing. You got skins. I know I'm playing for Winter Diva. <sighs> uh, you got problemo. No, I got. Nice stuff going on. All right, okay. But, uh, yeah. So that's that's more or less where I'm at for my runner-up. But my my number one pick is the FIA and how they handle this year's Formula One season. Oh no, my! The inconsistencies. God, dude. You just salty all of it because your boy I'm, didn't win. I am salty. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm so oh, salty. <laughs> But you know, I mean, Max is early. But still, dude, fucking, I hate. I just hate how everything was judged this year. Everything. He, they should have been a better driver. I don't have to tell you. No, it's not even about that. It's how they they. It's not so much that one driver was bad or one driver was good. Mm -hmm. It was there was no accountability on anyone's side. You know what this? You know what this? You know why that happened? You know what this is? The whole reasoning behind this all is why. Because of all that shit he said in Saudi Arabia. Fucked up the sponsors. Fucked up the money. Fucked up the oil money, kid. I've, I've been trying to avoid the conspiracy theories, but I think you have a, you have a point. Up the oil you have a money, point. Dude. You do have a point. He did open his mouth. And what did he get? What he, In Qatar, too? Yeah. He, dude. He opened his mouth. Oh. Fuck him up. Whatever. Ride or die. Team LH. Number 44. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, but yeah, that's my number one. But honestly, for the picks, I'll be I'm more than happy to go with any of your anime picks cuz you made me sit through both of them it's and they were period. fucking awful. It's blue period. All right. I'm so mad. All right, it's blue period. Blue period. But you know, I've been seeing that anime come up on like anime of the year charts. Yeah, cuz they're fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> These people uh, <laughs> like listen, Trash Chase was right. 
the manga kids are superior to the anime kids. Oh, all right. No. Oh no, 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 don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dude, the anime uh, sucks. All right, all right. Let's Trash. let's let's get off this one. Right. Late to the party. What were you late on this year? Uh this year I was late on Tokyo Revengers. Was that not just this year? So the anime was this year. Oh, okay, okay. But I'm, I read I'm the in a different world. I read the manga. I'm and then world. then after I started reading the manga, the anime came out. And I was like, "Oh, that's cool." Yeah. But I caught like I caught up with Tokyo Revengers I think in like 2 days. Like 200 plus chapters of yeah. Tokyo Revengers yeah. in like 2 days. Yeah. Uh, that series is amazing. That series is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't watch the anime, so I unfortunately can't comment on that. But uh, from all like the the fanfics and like the reposted TikToks on Instagram, I see of Tokyo Revengers stuff. Everyone loves Mikey, and people are pretty pumped about the series. It's very okay. good. Okay. Highly recommended. Um, but my truest latest to the party award is the Escape from Tarkov Beta. Oh, I thought that was only this year. So Escape from Tarkov has been out for a while. Really? And like in beta form. Oh. Uh, Okay. And I was a, maybe like three or four wipes late on this. So it, I think before I started playing, I saw it in the streaming sphere for maybe about two years. And it was still too early for me to play. I'm like, okay, there's like a couple traders. Mm-hmm. There's some quests. The game looks like really interesting. I just never really tried it out. And then my friend's like, listen, next patch, this is the patch to be. And Come in. I'm like, all right. I got in. Holy shit. Took over. Like majority of my gaming time. Oh, I'm aware. Like I, I have put over a hundred hours in that game this year. Jeez. And I think I bought it in the summer. One game, one hundred hours. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah, and like I bought, I bought the big boy edition of the game. Oh, uh, I know you did. <laughs> the, I, I, I am aware of what you bought. Uh, Escape from Tarkov has no right being as fun as it is. Like this game in beta is more polished and put together and fun than AAA titles that came out this year. What AAA titles did you play this year? Uh, when I played Battlefield and... Oh, what was the other one I played at my friend's house? Oh, fuck. It wasn't Death Loop. I play, well, I played Battlefield 2042 yeah. at my friend's house, mm. and it was just as buggy and weird as everybody else said it was. Okay. Um... And, like, this game, like, Tarkov by itself now can be a standalone game. It's just straight up. Just release it. It's good. And the amount of additions they're adding to the game. So, from when I played in the first wipe, yeah, um, it was still pretty, a little bit arcadey, right? You still have realistic shooting, dying a couple bullets, stuff like that. Uh, but movement was really weird. They added a whole inertia system into this new patch. That just oh came yeah, out. you were telling me about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they added um, like a brand new bullet physics system. Right. Um, so you can properly like, uh, if your partner has like a range finder on his like a binocular or binocular, uh, you can like scout out distances for your sniper friend, and like it's crazy. Seems cool. It's such a cool game, and there's so much to play. Of course, it is crazy hardcore. So you, if you run into like chads every map, you're not gonna have a good time. Uh, it is definitely not something to be experienced by yourself. Yeah. Uh, because the the skill floor is so fucking high. But if you have a, a set of friends who either want to learn or have played, Escape from Tarkov Beta is one of the best games I've played this year. Wow. So good. So 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 good. If it's a beta, does it count as a game? Not to me. Didn't put it in my game of the year list. <clears throat> oh, wow. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. That's all I like to hear. All right. Good. Keeping it consistent. What about you? Uh, my late to the party this year was, uh, my runner-up was a game that on paper I shouldn't like. Okay. Because it's open world. It's made by the Sucker Punch team. Oh, no. Ratchet. And it's so fucking Japanese. And it is Ghosts of Tsushima. Did that come out this year? No, it came out last year. Oh, true, 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 true. true. Came out last year. Came out last summer. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And I only bought it and played it this year because on Boxing Day it was on sale. I was like, I'll buy this. Good game. And it's too good. It was too good. I I don't know if it's too good, but it's a good game. Listen, it was a very good open world game. I'm I'm not denying that. And it looked way too pretty. 
and uh, I liked it a little too much. And I'm how many haikus honest. did you write? All of them. Uh, no, not all of them, but enough of them. Definitely more than required. Okay, all right. too necessary. But I think it pales in comparison to my s- super late to the party pick. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know how how um, open ended you're going to allow me to be here. Okay, because I'm just going to say sim racing. I think that counts because it is just something you were late to. Yeah. And like sim racing has been popular for a long time, especially yeah. on Twitch and stuff. Yeah. Because my, my more general category was PC gaming. Nah, that's too broad. Yeah, I know. That's too so broad. that's why I was like, it's got to be sim racing. Okay. For obvious reasons, I have been on a path. You spent <clears throat> so much money this year. This path has sent me down a terrible way. Ter- your wallet is crying. Yeah. I think your credit card is melted because of the amount of times you swipe it. Oh, man. Right. racing has been something else. You're insane. But uh, no shame. I love it. And I feel like How I How much should... was that your steering wheel again? Which one? The the new one? The newest one? Like just the wheel? Just, just mm, let's go. <laughs> let's go with the wheel plus the, the feedback engine. Oh, I don't know. Does you want me to include the pedals? Yeah, sure. You know what? I'll let you include whatever you want to include. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Give me an estimate of your whole setup. Minus your PC. Minus my PC? Yeah. Including the monitor you only use for racing. Mm, 3,000. <gasps> <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> That's so crazy. Uh... What? Never complain to me about I buy too many video games ever again. Anthony, did you know you buy too many video games? I don't. Games? I don't. You buy too many This year games. especially didn't. Well, I clearly didn't buy any video games. You bought, I just bought subscriptions to I bought games. equipment. You bought video game equipment. Yeah, I didn't All buy right. games. I just bought equipment. That's I bought one game. Three grand. Holy shit. Yeah. I spent a lot. I'm not going to lie. I, like, there's no way. There's no way around it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and the, the God, but it was worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was thinking about what, doing like VR, but like I have to stop somewhere. So, yeah. Didn't you? Weren't you against VR? But then I saw someone do it in iRacing. Dude, and I was I, like, again, l- just listen to me when I say things to you. All right. I'm still on the fence. <laughs> I think I need a better graphics uh, card first. Yeah. You, what? No, I can't. For those games, I think you could. I don't know. We'll see. It's not like you're playing for the 4K in the goggles. But I wanna. True, you do. Because if I'm gonna buy a VR headset, why would I buy a shitty one? True, true. Two thirty nineties. Let's go. I don't think you need to do that. But... Can't SLI them together or whatever. You can, but it doesn't do anything. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't do anything. All right. Uh but those are my picks. Go to shoes. Sim racing, the journey. I'm so adamant on Tarkov. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I don't really care. You really? I really yeah. don't care. All right. The more we forget about my sim racing expenditures, the better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is only a benefit to you if, if you lose. <laughs> man, I spent $100 on Tarkov. Abs- that's so much money, that's man. That's so much money. I can't believe I spent all that money. Yeah, see? Didn't you spend like three? Like I don't know what you're three. talking about. All right. We said that the late to the party award goes to Tarkov. Okay. All right. I'll take it. Yes, you will. You know, just remember, you're doing a homie a solid. Uh, right? Remember in these <laughs> upcoming categories. <laughs> no, no, I gave it to you. What are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. I'm doing you a favor. I give it to you. I know someone here is listening. Yeah. You know, and you know, Vince didn't spend a lot of money. You know, <laughs> if, he could have spent more. Wait, what makes you think she doesn't know how much? She doesn't. She told you she that I to just burn money. She doesn't. Know. Uh-huh. She doesn't know how your money, money, how quickly, how efficiently. You are you sure about that? I'm just gonna assume that she does. I'm gonna assume that she does. All right. Okay. Speaking of which, I gotta sell a wheel. Uh, you five bucks. Oh, <laughs> you five bucks right now. Yeah, wow. Best meme. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna win this category. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, absolutely okay. not. <laughs> My first meme. Yeah. Is the Suez Canal. Suez Canal. Which one's that? Small one? bulldozer. Gigantic ship. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the boat got stuck in the canal, one. and people put shit like me just want to have a me trying to live my best life, and the ship is like my anxiety. 
That was okay. That was a good meme. I like uh, that. One. But yeah, my number one is for the better. Adme pan like Anakin Padme. Like that's I love it. Quiet. I love it. So that's a good. And format. like the one that this cemented it for me was uh, it's one that I think we can all relate to, and it is the first panel is um, uh, Anakin is uh, it's like Netflix auto completing my search when I type it in. Yeah. And then it's Padme saying, "Oh, so that must mean you have the title, right?" Mm-hmm. Netflix, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's true. They do like to be like, things like this because we don't have it. Exactly. And I'm like, oh. And it's like, is this the quarter that they have Fast and the Furious or not? Because I need to watch Tokyo Drift. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Terrible. Well, those are mine. All right. My memes. How how are you going to fail the meme this year? You're not going to win. Because I find these hilarious. But no one else finds these funny. All right. So the first one is casting Chris Pratt in everything. Oh my god, you picked that one? I love that meme. Oh my god, that's so, it's so lame. Funny. That's so lame. It's so funny because it's so unexpected. It just pops up out of nowhere. Like, like that Chris was fun Pratt. for like two oh, seconds. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, that meme does not have You know what? Nice. Actually, I just thought of a meme that happened this year. And I might have a chance. I am taking back Chris Pratt. It doesn't count. That is not my runner up. My runner up is now my former nominee. Okay. My runner up is you you, you kind of smell like a baka. Aaron Yeager. <laughs> First of all, nobody knows what you're talking about. Dude, nobody all knows. The, all the kids who pick Zendaya as their hottest female this year? No, you kind of smell like a baka. Aaron Yang. Bullshit. No. Dude, I that think that I think the kids who pick hilarious. The kids who like Zendaya are not the kids who's listening to that meme. Kind of smell. No way. Like a baka. I- impossible. Aaron Yang. Dude, but I just thought of it right now and I can't believe I didn't write this down. The best meme this year and it lasted for all of one month, maybe a week. Hmm. Dude. Family's the strongest thing. All right. Oh, fast. And anytime, fast nine Vin Diesel memes. Anytime, man, I cannot beat this. I got to do this for my family. That's tough. And then Dom shows up. That's Dude, tough. Family's the strongest That's thing of all. <laughs> the one where he fucking is, he takes a shotgun to walk towards Ghidorah. <laughs> yeah, that's, just, ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You're right. That is pretty good. Dude. Those Vin Diesel memes did not miss, but they burned hot and then were gone. Yeah, like that that literally lasted the amount of time the movie was in the theater. I think it was like, uh, yeah, maybe a week, maximum a month. Yeah. But they, there were some pretty good ones. I'm not going to lie. Dude, they were so spicy. Like, my favorite ones were the ones where Tim in the car. Yeah, with the car just being launched into yeah. whatever. Yeah, into, into like a black <laughs> hole or something. Dude, those memes are so good. Uh, I don't know. Mm. They real fun. So it's definitely between F9 and Padme or a Star Wars. I could literally coin flip this. Same. And I think we might have to. Do we call TJ, or is there, are we just? Gonna I don't. I don't think it's important enough to call him for this because I, I think I think I would be happy with either one. True. true right. True. This is the time when you know what else TJ had the coin flip app. He did. He did have. He also had like cash. Like he probably had a coin on him, like an actual dime or something. What are you gonna flip a multivitamin over there? What's going on? The, the, the fucking meme when it shows everybody's eyes on different drugs and it's like cocaine, marijuana, beer, and it says family and it's Vin Diesel's eyes. <laughs> Dude, these memes are so good. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. When he saves Simba. Simba. No, sorry, oh, Mufasa. Mufasa. When he saves Mufasa from Scar yeah, and yeah, they're in the car funny. together. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I don't think I have anything I can flip. Dude, you can flip something. Got it. I got it. it. This. Ooh, Velcro me. side up. Yeah, Velcro side up is what? Is uh, Vin Diesel. And so, Pat, Hook. okay, flip it. Hook side up is. So we are flipping a cable tie, a yeah. Velcro cable tie. I'm trying to straighten it as much as possible. Yeah. So, all right. So what we say, Velcro side is Vin Diesel? Yeah. yeah. And the other one is Star Wars? Yeah. Velcro side up. I don't know what I picked. Did I did it flip or did it just spin? I don't know. I think it, I don't think it counts. Okay, we gotta find something. You really want a coin? Oh, you got a coin? Oh, I can flip my book. Oh, All right. Elastic side up. Okay. 
is uh, Vin Diesel. Okay. Just plain book side is Star Wars. Star Wars. All right. Ooh, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel it is. Vin Diesel it the is. family memes take it. Dude. Family. I can't believe I forgot about those memes. So yeah. good. But I mean, it, it, it kind of just falls into what you were saying. Yeah. People just forgot <laughs> about it immediately. But they were so quality. Oh, my God. All right. Next category is best surprise. What you got? Best surprise I have is my runner-up books. What? Like like reading books. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he can't pick that. <laughs> Why not? No, he can't. Because what you're implying right now is that you literally discovered books this year. I have not read none. No, okay. okay, all right. <laughs> I just read so many books this year. Because that would be like me like saying. Like non-manga books. Because if, if I said I guess that's like video games. games. Yeah, true. I guess that's like. What yeah. would you say to that? I, I, true, true, true. Yeah. Okay, my, my runner-up surprise this year. My true, my true runner-up surprise. Fast 9. No, like, and surprise it that it was actually worse than that. It was it so insane. I did not think that Fast Nine was going to be as crazy as it was. Everyone was memeing like they're gonna go to space. They're gonna do. They this. did, and I, I didn't believe them. <laughs> All right, I didn't believe the hype. I just, I just thought that it was gonna be another like heisty movie. But these motherfuckers. They travel the world. They establish that uh, fucking what's his face Tyrese is has plot armor, literal plot armor. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, they they go to space in a fucking what is that car? A Pontiac Fiera. Fiero. Fiero with um a Pontiac Ferrero Rocher. Wow. Right. With a a homemade diving suit. Where they drive a car in space through a satellite. Yeah. That movie's insane. Yeah. That's a word. They put a, they put a jet engine on the back of the car. And they launched it into space. Yeah, they did. Oh my god. Remember how dumb this movie was? Did you did you really imagine that this movie would be this dumb? Yeah, it was in the trailer. Dude, come on. It was in the trailer. It, yeah, the car... The, it's really gonna go to space. It's gonna really be fast. I mean... But it was in the trailer. Dude, there's so much dumb shit. Okay, and then my my biggest surprise is Osama Ranking. Okay, yeah. That show... We, we went over it. The show's amazing. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Osama Ranking is pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, my biggest surprise is... um My runner-up, Shang-Chi. Okay. Because again, you know, I thought it was going to be bad. It didn't look like a good movie. It did not. It looked like a like B level kung fu flick. Mm -hmm. Which but, usually are pretty good. Yeah, but I mean, like, this looked pretty bad. It did look. It like didn't the look trailers good. did not look. It did not look fantastic. It's true. Uh, but it was good, surprisingly so, and that's why it is my pick. But the one that uh, was a big surprise to me, mm -hmm. to me, uh, for someone who had. Uh, zero interest in in the in in the IP. Mm -hmm. I had no idea it was even coming out. Okay, and I didn't even watch it until after it was finished. All right, Arcane. Damn, that is my biggest surprise of 2021. The fact that Arcane got you to involve yourself with League of Legends. Uh, yeah. Is insane. Absolutely. And I totally get it. Mm. But Fast 9. No. <laughs> but they go to space. The thing about Fast 9 is Fast 9 has been on this trajectory of getting more dumb. But what are they even going to do next movie? Well, apparently they're not getting The Rock, that's for sure. Yeah, fuck, he's boring. Who cares? Right? Well, he's going to flex out of a cast again? Who gives a shit? All right? And his Hobbs and Shaw movie is dog shit. Fast and Fear... No one cares about Fast after Brian died. I can't... What? No one cares about Fast Dude, after Brian. If, that, if Fast 10 comes out in the summer around my birthday again, yeah. we're all going. I think we have to. Yes. It's my birthday gift. <laughs> all right? I know. You made us go to this, this one. one. I know. And, and we all came again. out of that, like, absolutely... Baffled. Defeated. It's so sick. <laughs> 
We hated ourselves. What a good movie. We had to get out and talk about another movie. Yeah. Because we just <laughs> get that shit out of our heads. Uh, uh, no, so it's Arcane. No, but I, I can see Arcane, yeah. It's Arcane. Yeah, it's Arcane. It's Arcane. I, I, There's no argument. I can't believe, again, that you're even interacting with people who know League of Legends. You know, I was at this. I was at Toys R Us today. Did yeah. you know Arcane has a toy line? Oh, no. <laughs> Like Lee has toys. Like it's pretty good. A good toy line. I don't know. Like I, I, I have to. I have to put out the Twitter call and be like, guys, tell me about these league toys. Are you they know, good? You should, do. you should probably review it uh, on like a YouTube channel. Uh, you have. Uh, you're asking too much. <laughs> you're asking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I will, you know, maybe do a live stream of me rewatching Arcane. Ooh. Can you do that? I don't know. I know on Twitch you can watch Amazon yeah, Prime shit. Oh, is that how you do it? Yeah. And then it's blank for everybody who doesn't have a Prime account or who isn't subbed, I think. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you can watch shows, Amazon Prime shows with your Twitch stream. Mm, that's pretty cool. Just give Daddy Bezos some money. Mm, is he still Daddy Bezos? Is he still part of that conglomerate? I don't know. If, is, I don't know if he's gone from Amazon yet. He's probably like still. He'll always forever be part of it. But I just yeah. don't think he's like. No, but I think like like in role as well. I don't know if he has relinquished the role yet. Oh. I think he might still be CEO. I don't think that new okay. guy's taken over yet. Okay. Because he's taken taxi rides into space mostly. But oh, fair we'll enough. See. Okay. But yeah, I can totally see. Him winning. Okay. So Arcane, cool. Never got around to it is the next award. I'll go first. Uh, my runner-up is Dune. Oh, yeah. I love sci-fi. And this is something that I should, like, on paper, I should have gone to the movies to see. But? But I guess I just never did. Who cares? Wow. What is it, like a famous book or something? Whatever. <laughs> it's not like the, it's not, the, you know, the most famous sci-fi book. No. No one's ever read it, all right? Damn. It's some indie hit. Who cares? Uh, but my real pick is uh, Super Robot Wars 30. Ooh, okay. Because, like, I was so hyped. You were. Didn't you buy, like, the big boy package? No, that's why oh, I haven't okay. bought it, because I want the big boy package. But it never went on sale. Dude, it's brand new. What? So what? So many brand new games are on sale. You just buy. Deathloop went on sale for, like, 40% after about a week. Physical. What physical? Did it? Wait, did digital go on sale 40%? Everything was 40%. Oh, wow. Guardians was the same way, right? Like, nice. I don't know why it didn't go on sale. Maybe it's because it was indie. But because they know the nerds will pay at that price. Whatever. I might just buy it. Just buy it. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. My runner up is uh No More Heroes Three. That came out this year? That came out this year. Damn. And I played some of it at my friend's house. It's fun. Yeah, like that's no more heroes. This is no more heroes, and nobody else does <laughs> this game like this game does it. All right. And it is wacky as shit because there's aliens now. Hmm. Um, but the one I think that kind of got to me more, which is something I, I watched and I really enjoyed what I watched, but then I just never finished it, was uh, Skate the Infinity. Oh, yeah. That also came up in, like, uh, anime that people like. Yeah. This Skate the Infinity was such a wacky, fun thing. Like, making anime out of sports is, is nothing new, but making anime out of skateboarding is new, especially when everybody has wild crazy skateboards and you're doing downhill bombing where people can die yeah it's pretty nuts it's sick and the amount of memes that came out too with just like them doing tricks and then the tony hawk special move sound effect <laughs> popping off <laughs> yeah i did see some of those on my timeline i'm like wow that's uh it's <laughs> pretty funny inspired shit uh but yeah skate the infinity was something i actually started and then dropped off to do something else god knows what dark off Probably Tarkov, probably Civ, uh, and I just, I just didn't go back to it. I'm like, I'm more like disappointed in myself that I never got back into it. Yeah, because I think that came out actually at the beginning of the year. Like that and was then, in the winter yeah. season. So yeah. like, because there's a lot. Of, I think I was watching a lot of anime in the winter season, and then spring rolled around, and I bought all my Sim shit, and I was like, well, I'm not doing this anymore. Whoops, anime. What's that? Does that yeah. have cars in it? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Uh. Honestly, for this one, I don't, I don't, I don't really have a dog in this fight. I don't really. What were yours again? Dune and Super Robot Wars. Dune and Wars. Super Robot Wars. You're, you love Super Robot Wars. You play all the Super Robot I Wars. I fucking do love Super Robot Wars. And honestly, mine, I'm kind of just like, these are things I didn't really do, but also because I didn't commit to it, I don't really have any attack. Okay, okay. Then I will fight for Super Robot Wars only because like this is the first one that came out, like, for real, for real, like yeah, really. yeah. 
on North American shores. But the OG generations, dude. Yeah, but those don't count. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have Evangelion. They don't. Sure, they don't. Dark. It's true. They don't. Um. And this one actually has OG units yep. as well. And like this was the one. Like this is the one that was supposed to be like, oh, Mecha is still pretty cool in America, and Weebs are gonna eat that shit up. And I was championing it, and I didn't buy it. Yeah, you know, I heard that they were gonna bring out more next year, and then they were short one sale. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> there was if one person more person had bought, they would have met their quota, but they just missed it. You know. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. you know what? I can see Super Robot Wars winning this category, yeah. especially for how much both you and I don't think Blaven played it either. No, he bought it. But he has he played it? Oh. Like he bought it, but did he play it? I don't know, cause he split it with his brother. Oh, okay. So I don't know if his brother's playing it, but they have a they have I think they have a family account, right? True. True. So. Because, yeah, me and him are, like, chatting about it, like, yo, dude, like, can't wait, can't wait. And then it came out, and neither of us played it. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. Oh, wow. Next category. Ooh, baby. Song of the Year. Song of the Year. This is the, this is the contentious this one. This is the one. You want to go or you want me to go? I can go first if you want me to go first. All right. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, baby. My runner-up is... I, you. <laughs> N slash A. What? Who? Non-applicable. You didn't, you didn't pick any music? My winner is... Okay. One Last Kiss by Utada. Oh, Utada. good. That's a good... That's a respectable pick. That's a good song. That is the only... That was the only thing I could think of this year that I was like... Yeah, because like I could have gone to like whatever my top 40s classics, but like I'll be real. All I've been listening to is just like old anime hits or whatever that's a good song but like the one song i remember that was like really like and it probably has to do with a lot the fact that it so for people who don't know what i'm talking about this is the song that plays through the finale scene of evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0 yep and it and so much happens in that scene and when i was listening to it, i'm like wow very kingdom hearts of them yeah and i was like oh it's utada he got it yes. <laughs> it makes sense so that is my pick respectable respect absolutely my runner-up choice is the song end by chai the japanese pop duo or what no not a duo the japanese pop group am i supposed to know this you know chai i played them before you think i listen yes you have to it's blasting your put it on it's pretty good no all right but my actual pick my, my nominee is actually a top 40s hit. <gasps> Don't tell me it's Olivia Rodrigo. No, fuck that. Oh, it's Justin Bieber? No. Fuck, man. What you... Dude, it's Smoking Out the Window, Bruno Mars, and Anderson Pack. Smoking I... Out the Window. I know I've heard this song, bum, bum. but I need. I 25, just... 25, 25. Oh, no. <sighs> You've heard this song, dude. Have I? It's a banger. Oh shit! Dude, what a banger! Yeah, I'm listening to it. It's Smith. It's music. It all your old buddy, dude. Utari Karu just did Kingdom Hearts again. All right, she just did Last Farewell. That's all she did. This is a movie. A decade in the making, and Dude, they have to pick the right song. But we have to pick the song outside of the context of whatever else it's attached to. Oh, fair, did you listen to that point. song by itself? I did when I was remembering it. When you were remembering <laughs> Evangelion? That's what I thought, <laughs> right? Did you listen to the song by itself? I Yeah, it's real good. It's really good. I like I had a lot of other like hipster picks and stuff, but I was like I really enjoyed smoking at the window because Bruno Mars has been bringing back that whole uh like funk Rick James not Rick James maybe but like that whole era of music right right and for a while now this is not his first run but like him and Anderson Pack teaming up has kind of taken it over the top okay and th this is like we are either at or almost at like peak retro groove retro hmm. funk 
mm. style music with those two. Mm-hmm. And the fact that it's coming from two of the biggest artists in the music industry is insane. It's it's so cool. You don't see these kind of risks, I guess, taken from the music industry. Mm-hmm. It is just, hey, Maroon 5, we made another one of the same album. Do it again. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's a new thing that got popular. And it's also a very good song. Okay. I really don't care. All right. And it's smoking out the window, baby. All right. It's smoking Smoking out the window. window. Whatever that's supposed to be. Fair enough. This Bruno Mars? Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. All right. Smoking out the window. Smoking out the window. Okay. B Mars. Can't believe you didn't even pick a nominee. That's or not a nominee. Sorry, a runner up. That's that's how much this this category means to me. Dude, it means so much to me. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just you know, that's it. TV show of the year. I'm gonna go first. Oh shit! What do you got, dude? My runner-up, Bo <laughs> Burnham's Inside. Oh, that's where you put it. Yeah, oh. I put it in the TV <laughs> show of the year. Wow. I, I think that Bo, good thing it's your runner-up. I know. I think that Bo Burnham's Inside is definitely art. Oh fuck off! <laughs> it's. It's funny, but it really, it, it truly does like encapsulate the millennial mindset of dealing through the pandemic, uh, wondering where your life is going to go, what your life is currently. And his one song, Welcome to the Internet, is such a great like distillation of hmm. just what the internet is and the positive and negatives that can come from it and how it shapes all of us and we don't even think about it. Hmm. It's it's a fantastic, hmm. fantastic show. All right. It's good. I've only, I've only heard good things. It's very good. Very good. Uh, and my show of the year is Osama Ranking. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. Ranking of Kings. It made me watch anime. Wow. Dude, that show is so sick. Are you caught up? Uh, almost. Okay. Almost caught up. Um, so not sh- enough to make you be ca- caught up, huh? Listen, it's huh? not even Breaking Bad could do that, and I think that's one of the best television shows ever produced. Bruh. All right. So Osama Ranking is, A, if, if you want to talk about representation. I don't. All right. <laughs> I absolutely do not. All right. <laughs> Fuck Shang Chi. The way they portray the prince in this show yeah. is amazing because again he is uh, deaf. Uh, yeah. He's dumb or he can't talk. Yeah. Uh, but they never use that as an excuse ever in the show, mm. and it it shows they they show his limitations uh, in a way that is like I, I don't want to say like respectful because it sounds like. It's now, but he he has advantages over other people that uh, people with all their senses do not, and it shows that like just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. And they they show the king in such a positive light, even with his disabilities. Hmm. And the plot twists in this show are absolutely bonkers. Hmm. Uh, okay, th- there there was multiple times uh, throughout watch- catching up with the show where. Um, I out loud reacted to certain twists and turns and betrayals and friendships and just just the way the world is built. Yeah, uh, we when we watched it for the show, we were stuck in the castle, pretty much. Yeah, right. And you remember that time when you were a kid and you like were playing Orc Rain of Time and you're in like the village, and then you leave the village and it's Hyrule Field. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that felt like after you got out of the castle. You come out uh, of the castle with the prince and his his fellow bandmates, and the the world that this place is set in is so vast, it's so varied. There is danger lurking around every corner, but also it's like really exciting and new and weird. Like it's not just stereotypical orcs and elves or whatever. It's mm-hmm. some wild fantasy shit mm. that they made up for this, mm. and. Every, every piece of that show is good. I, I literally do not have a single complaint about Osana Ranking. Wow, that good, huh? Damn. I, I don't have a complaint. Damn, it's going to be a hard argument. Hmm. 
Well, I guess for me, I'll just open up by saying this was a great year for anime. It was a great year for anime. Great year for anime. Fantastic year for anime. And that's why my runner-up pick is Invincible. (laughs) Invincible (laughs) is a very good show. Uh, Yeah, I love Invincible. That was that was number three for me. Yeah, Invincible is such a good animated series. Um, If you haven't checked it out, check it out. His fucking girlfriend fucking sucks. Oh my god. I mean. Yes, <laughs> but also, she be human. True, true. You can't so, understand what what it's aliens think. Yeah, about, right. Yeah, yeah. Why why should we expect her to have the knowledge of a god? Okay, since we're in spoiler territory with this the end of the year episode. Yeah. Favorite scene in Invincible. Uh oh, when he fights his dad. Oh baby. But like the whole fight, or like because I can think of a fight or a scene within that fight that is my favorite scene. Um, I'll tell you mine. Okay, it's the train. What's the train? Oh, he when throws he him in front. Holds him oh, in front yeah. of a train. Oh yeah, and people die on his the, body yeah, because the, he's the invincible. Subway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, that was brutal. It was so brutal, but it like perfectly encapsulated like yeah how strong Viltrumites are. Yeah, that right. Was, like that was good shit. He went. A train ran through him, and people like got dismembered on his own body. Yeah, and he felt nothing. Yeah, that, that was awesome. So cool. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. I also also do like the end of the first episode where he kills the the quote unquote Justice League. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like he just pass it on the floor, breathing heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was a good scene. There, uh, there were, uh, I watched like some YouTube reactions yeah. to that of people watching the show. Yeah, like, very good. Like just yeah. in their mind. Yeah, it's just shit. like whoa. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like yeah, Invisible is very good. Um, but like I said. This has been a great year for anime, and that's why my number one pick has to go to Arcane. Ooh, that's not anime. <laughs> like I said, it's been a great year for anime. <laughs> like I feel kind of Damn. bad because this year has had such a good anime. Like, what a blessing this year has been. Mm-hmm. And yet, my two favorite things are like not anime. not anime. Like Dude, they're animated, but need that China money. Like, one or, had that Amazon money, <laughs> yeah. the other one had that ten cent money. Yeah, like, 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 like I don't know, but Arcane is just. Uh, I think Arcane is the show where Japan, like, who was it who said it? Was it? I don't know if it was Miyazaki, but they're like Japan is no longer the leader in animation, mm-hmm. and it's like, and they were clearly referring to like what they could do. Or what they've been seeing has been done in Arcane, and of course, it's probably a lot to do with maybe because Arcane's just better at CG versus. Yeah. Well, they are a game studio. Yeah. So, but I mean, like, this is a show that I think we all expected to be mediocre at best. Mm-hmm. Like, I think a lot of people walked into Arcane being like, if they do, like, if they show some fan favorite characters and those characters do the thing that they're, you know, famous for, they'll be happy. But it was, it ended up being so much more and. S- and it got people who don't even give a fuck about League yeah. to get like yeah. into it, right? And I and I think it like it built out a world that you want to know more a part of. Like it's if League has been around and been like the number one game, like I feel like the one thing it was always missing, much like I guess all esports games, yep. is like a, a I guess is lore. Like there's. It, like it has lore, but like there's no story for the masses to grab hold of. Mm-hmm. And I feel like every time a game tries to do it, it never quite hits. We're talking about Naruto's and Fortnite. Oh god, dude, what? It's canon. Fuck, <laughs> dude, what are you talking about? Out of chocolate, but not out of options. <laughs> <laughs> but Arcane definitely is like, I, I cannot believe, like, I just blew through it because I was just so, like, mesmerized by everything about that show. All right. Sorry, what was your pick again? Oh, ranking of kings. ranking of kings. So I just want to know how hard are you gonna fight ranking of kings on our Ar- like, against Arcane? Like all the way. And then you gotta pick up the phone. No, <laughs> God, no. no. <laughs> you gotta you have to pick up the phone because right. I I cannot let Arcane. Like I can I I'm okay to lose game of the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Movie of the year, but this is the only one I care about. Right. I don't I don't think we're gonna just yeah. yo TJ. We got another one. And right. another one. So we made it all the way to TV show of the year without having any issues. Uh, but this one, we, we cannot decide. So my runner-up is Bo Burnham's Inside, the comedy special. 
And my TV show of the year is uh, Ranking of Kings. The one with the, the deaf and mute kid. You remember that one? Are you here? Uh oh. Did we drop it? <laughs> I don't know where he went. Uh oh, hold on. Let me recall. Hello. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So my my runner up was Bo Burnham's Inside, the comedy special. Okay. And my um my finalist, the what I think should win, is Ranking of Kings. The the show with the the kid who's a prince and he's deaf and mute. The show with the kid who has spy parents, is that what you said? No, he he's deaf and mute. It looks like a cross between like Winnie the Pooh and Caillou, kinda, and Dragon Quest. Oh, yeah. okay. Then we watch, and then uh, Vince's runner-up was was it? Invincible. Invincible, and his uh, show of the year was Arcane. So we're we're stuck on. I I think Osama Ranking has no like zero. I have zero complaints about that show, and okay. Vince loves Arcane because. It managed to get him into League of Legends lore when he does not give a shit about League of Legends at all. Wow! And it got it got like the masses into League of Legends. Those are our like our arguments there. Mm. Okay, how do you spell the the name of the other show? Yours? Uh, Osama, O U S A M A ranking. Ranking. You watched it with us. Yeah, you did. It was um. Wait, did he? I think he did. I think, I'm pretty sure he was on the couch. Was he? I can't remember if that was one of the weeks where he was gone. Oh, he might have been gone that week. You guys watched an episode of this? Yeah, we oh, did. You yeah, didn't, I don't think TJ it. was there. Oh, he wasn't there. No, because I remember you showing this, but I don't remember actually watching the episode. Oh, yeah, so we watched an episode. Or, oh. And then I watched, and I watched almost all of it. Like, I saw that first episode, and I went the next day and caught up on, seven, like, six, seven episodes the next Shit. day. Well, I'm choosing Invincible. Oh! oh. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Oh, no. Just because I, I didn't finish watching either of your top choices. Okay. So I, I can't. Oh, we got <laughs> robbed, kid. <laughs> <laughs> we got robbed. Oh no! Uh, I have uh, a fe- I have a feeling you might we might call you back for the next one too. For the what? For the next one, we might call you back. <laughs> okay. All right. See ya. Sounds good. See ya. Dude, <laughs> we got robbed. Oh my god. We got robbed. What the fuck? Oh man, Invincible is not better than Arcane. Our Invincible is not better than Osama ranking. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 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 well, you know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword, oh, you know what they say. I guess so, shit. I guess we got movie of the year. Movie of the year. Fuck. My runner-up for favorite movie of the year oh. is Godzilla vs. Kong. That came out this year? Godzilla vs. I'm pretty sure. If it's not, I'm pretty sure I double-checked. Godzilla I, Like, you're probably right, Kong. but that was this year? Yeah, 2021, baby. Wow. March 31st. March. Yeah. How did I forget already? What a the, stupid movie. Exactly why I picked it. Godzilla versus Kong was the amount of stupid that I wished Fast Nine was. It was so simple. Oh. It was just monster fight and yell and do cool thing. That was this year. That was this year. Okay. Uh, and it was tokusatsu to the max in an American form. Oh. When he fucking atomic blasted a hole to the core of the earth so that they could jump down and get the fucking Kong axe or whatever. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. Dude, that movie's insane. It's so, it's like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that it's like good good all right but it's so fun okay um i had i had such a good time watching that movie it was if it was released in the summer it was the perfect summer blockbuster popcorn muncher just hmm. go in see cool things happen on screen kind of veg out hmm. do whatever and it is the perfect one of those movies okay it's fantastic pretty cool pretty cool my, my movie of the year 
Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. Yeah. That I'm movie turned me around on the franchise. Wow. We, we talked about it in length before. Um, that movie is one of the clearest forms of... Uh, like was it auteurs auteurism auteurism when when a director is an auteur you like see his work in everything they do like you know that this is this person's movie and to see the director's basically his heart and emotions spill out into movie form yes and him ending the series in the way that he did so much differently than what he did with the original series is completely it shows not only um his growth as an artist but his like growth as a person spilled out into film and it's it's crazy to basically see a director's diary uh shown to the masses it, it has completely changed my opinion on evangelion as a whole wow good argument my runner up all right is even Ooh, runner up and for everything you stated i agree 100 percent. and it was also go- they threw the eiffel tower at that one dude that was they did sick and it, it <laughs> was going to be my like winner up until yesterday Spooderman? Because I saw Spider-Man. Oh my god. That good? And you know how Eva was like the movie 10 years in the making? Yeah. Spider-Man is 20 years in oh the making. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I know you haven't seen it. I have not so seen it So I yet. don't want to spoil anything. Mm-hmm. But every rumor that you have heard... Comes to fruition. And more. Oh my god. Okay. But the thing for me, like, but that's just the icing on, like, the thing that really cements this movie for me is throughout Tom Holland's run, I think, I know I've said that I don't like him as Spider-Man. Yes, you have. You're, you're, uh, you're with me and Andrew yeah. Garfield is numero Absolutely. Now. And it's not because I don't think, uh, I don't like Tom Holland as you a... you think Tom a, Holland's a punk bitch? No, I think, <laughs> actually, I think Tom Holland is great. Just I just, the other day, you're like, I want to fight Tom Holland. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> I just don't think, I just have never liked the way they wrote his Spider-Man. How okay. he's like, non-independent. He's not that smart. He's, you know... Kind of a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> this is his origin story movie. Oh, interesting. It re like it it finally clicked for me and this movie really does it and they go like, "No, everything you've seen up to this point hasn't been Spider-Man." Spider-Man. Interesting. It's all like everything you've seen from Homecoming to the Avengers to this has all been his origin story. And by the end, he is Spider-Man. Ooh. And it is absolutely like the most amazing ending. They give him the most comic accurate costume. Cool. Sorry, that's a spoiler. Um, but he is one hundred percent like this is New York. I'm on my own. I am Spider Man. Nice. And I never hope they make another movie with him again. We're calling TJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we have to. Dude, we're calling. Uh, that's also a good argument. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, I know you haven't. I know. All right, voice call. Shit. I see him. He's in a Discord chat. Fuck that dude. He just left the Discord Hello? chat. Yo, oh, here he is. We're, we're we're back, movie dear. We we have two absolutely solid arguments. So, movie of the year. Okay. So my runner up is Godzilla vs Kong. That's not gonna win. It's not gonna win. But I'm just saying to remind you. All right. Okay. And my movie. Of the year? Yeah, that's, it, what that's, it, that's what Vince that's said, what too. Yeah. Said. It came on March 31st this year. All right. And my uh, movie of the year is Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0. Wow, you really like that I movie. really like that movie, and my reasoning was that um, I, I haven't seen a movie in a long time where a director or a creator like puts himself uh, out to the audience as vulnerably as he did because the way they ended that movie... Uh, shows his growth as a creator and as a person in comparison to the uh, end of the original series where it's all emo and bullshit. Okay. And then Vance's runner-up is Evangelion, uh, but his okay. movie of the year is Spider-Man. Uh, I forget the subtitle. No Way Home. No Way, no way home. home. Yeah, No Way Home. Uh, 
I'm sorry. This is an easy one for me. Even Galleon, I knew it. All right, see you later. Thanks for thanks for coming <laughs> in. <laughs> what is it? It's for me. It's Spider Man. Oh damn! <laughs> All right. No. Have you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it yet. So. Oh. I might, I probably, I might like. You need uh, to see this movie. Agree with you guys later on, but I just, ha I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, my pick. Damn. It's a great movie. I really recommend you go and watch it. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks. We might, we might call you back for the last one. We'll see. All right. See ya. Okay. Damn. Come on, kid. Killing me. He took away egg on abs. He took away even galleon. Dude, <laughs> he gave us invincible. He gave us invincible. What is this man doing? I feel so raw. Uh, listen, I honestly, I did not think Spider Man was gonna be as good as it was. All right. Okay. Like, wow, what a movie. I gotta watch it. What a movie. I'll watch it. Yeah. The movies open tomorrow. Oh, see. Movies never close. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, next, the last one before best of the year, hmm. the game of the year. Game of the year. I'm not gonna lie, my picks aren't that great. Yeah, I'm also gonna lie. I didn't play a lot of games this year. Oh shit, you didn't play any new games, dude. I was in school most of the year. No, but like, what new games came out that you would have been into? I'll tell you. Oh. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh, all right. My runner-up, Super Mario Golf Super Rush. Oh my god, dude, no! Super Mario it Golf. It was that dry for you? That oh dude, no! Not that dry. Super Mario oh. Golf Super Rush was that good. I heard only bad things about this game. What are you talking about? It's really fun. I can't believe I gifted that to you. Dude, yeah. All right, you enabled this. Oh, remember. Oh, shit. Right? Uh, Super Mario Golf Super Rush is very fun. It is not a sim golf game. I know your number one is. By any means. Do you? Yeah. Do you? It has to be on the Switch. Let me... On the Switch? Yeah. No. Okay. All right. So, uh, Super Mario Golf Super Rush is fantastic. Okay. It, I got through, I think... I, all of the golf courses? I didn't play through the DLC stuff. But I had so much fun. The uh, the different mechanics that each course has um, for the desert one, it's like dehydration. For uh, the forest one, it's like lightning strikes if you pull up your yeah. club too high in certain areas. And you can really fuck with your opponent by using your super moves, by running to the ball and knocking them out of the way. You do like star star rushes, pretty much. And you're, you, it's just fun. It's just <clears throat> wild fun that still has the right amount of skill okay. left in it because like if you're better you'll still win but you can fuck up your opponent in certain ways that are really okay cool and unique i like it it's good all right that's golf my game of the year uh-huh uh, guilty gear strive oh of course guilty oh, gear how strive the... dude L okay let me hear your argument on this one guilty gear strive got me back into fighting games uh-huh for a summer yeah until someone ruined it that's what I'm saying. So it wasn't good enough to just practice on your own? Dude, I, 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 just, I wanted. I did. And I was. But this other guy was too good. Listen, you didn't even buy a stick for it. You're right. I borrowed a even stick, and I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, clearly, it's not that good, then. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I played Guilty Gear Strive. I hadn't tried to learn a fighting game since Street Fighter Four Ultra. Yeah. And I had found myself in training mode, practicing combos, looking at frame data, practicing matchup specific stuff. Um, rollback net code is the meme, probably the meme of the year. We probably should have did that. Oh, yeah. But um, everything has rollback, and Guilty Gear was the pioneer for that. And the internet connection in that game is so good. I've had no drop frames. It's like I'm playing locally with somebody else. Even when I'm getting my ass kicked, I, like it's so the internet is so good. I can't blame lag. Mm. I can't believe oh, I dropped that because of lag. Because mm. there is none. It's that good. <laughs> that good. Uh, and it's really fun. For as unbalanced as I was in the beginning, uh, they have kept <clears throat> tried and true with bringing out regular balance updates. Interesting DLC characters. Gold Lewis is awesome. Jacko's confusing as shit. Uh, Happy Chaos is a nightmare, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the, the game has been nothing but fun. It, it is just unbridled fun. It's not like Tekken or Virtua Fighter where you, gotta, you have to be a real fighting game aficionado, bro. They have really uh, figured out how to make a game fun for new players where you're just going around smashing people and for the ultimate optimal combo kings where it's like, oh, I hit you with soul once. 
eighty percent of your life is gone. Fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also wall breaks. Right. All right. DOA had stage transitions, which was a thing in those games. But this is I can I can't literally can't think of another game, fighting game, that has stage transition as, as a two D fighter. Okay. Um combo being stuck inside the corner is no fun for anybody. But they have made uh, being in the corner or getting your opponent into the corner, uh, not as big of a deal as you would think it is. Right. Right. You take extra damage and you transition or whatever. And if you have a, if you get hit with a super, you're hard knocked on the other side, so your opponent has an advantage. But it's also fun for your opponent to get you out of the corner because they get meter gain, they mm. get advantage. No, they I see. Break it yeah, in a certain yeah, yeah. way. They have. I don't know, man. They ha- they have met um, both the casual market and the hardcore market in the middle. And successfully done it, which I don't think another fighting game has done. Okay. So. No, I think it's a, it's all a strong argument. I think it's valid. I'm just still more amazed that you think golf is better than Metroid. I didn't finish Metroid. Oh, okay. I finished golf. Oh, god damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, golf is good. We should play. We can play on the same Switch. What was your number three? Just out of curiosity. Probably Metroid. Whoa. <laughs> you really didn't have any other choices. Yeah, because I, I don't count Tarkov. Yeah. Uh, Civ 6 didn't come out this year. Yeah. So. Oh, shit. I, did, I didn't play any games this year. I played very little because okay. I was in school or broke or hmm. both. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So uh, my runner-up is, um, well, do you like cars, Anthony? Oh, God. Is it just sim racing games? No. Oh, because iRacing is old. Yeah, and there's so competition. All my sim racing games aren't this year, except right. for F one. Okay, but don't worry, that's not it. Good. My runner up is Forza Horizon Five. I, I, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, the best. I guess I would call that the best car culture car game. That's what I would describe it as. Uh, I don't know, man. I saw a guy get banned because he made a custom library for a van that said "free candy" inside. So. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds hilarious. You know what? Good for you. Good for you. Uh, but yeah, no, I think that like it, it best encompasses all aspects of car culture, what it means to be a fan of of cars in general. Not necessarily motorsport, but cars. Yeah. And as a as a a video game, it's as easy and arcade as you want it to be, and you could still make it as challenging and sim like as you might need it to I be. can totally see car meet bros in this game meeting up in yeah, a video game. Absolutely. Right? Like if, if you're one of the bros who like goes to car meets in real life, I can see like, oh hey, let's meet up in Forza Five. Yeah. Or go racing or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Thing. And I think I think just because of that it's it's absolutely worth um mentioning. Mm-hmm. However however narrowly taking the top spot. What, did you, nah, what else did you play this not year? Not narrowly. Who what am I kidding? He was by a landslide. Arcane. <laughs> no way. League of Legends Wild Rift. <laughs> really? No. Oh, my God. I was going to fight you. No, but it is sci-fi. What could it be? Can you not think of the game I played this year? The only other game where I put in... Is it, is it Guardians of the Galaxy? No. What is no, it? No, because I have not put in uh, 100 hours into this game. I honestly am so lost. <clears throat> Mass Effect Legendary Edition is my game that, of oh the my, that year. That doesn't count. That counts, Come baby. On. They, that counts. They didn't redo anything. Yeah, they did. What'd they do? They did. They redid Mass Effect 1. All right. Okay. And they gave up textures to everything. Well, that's three games. You're right. That's value. Oh my God! Come have we on. ever had a three game of the year game of the year, dude? I think not. That, come on! <laughs> what a game! Everyone hates Mass Effect Three. No, not according to this game. Everyone remember because this game has the proper ending, and has Leviathan, the DLC ending. Yeah. Mm. And so, I mean, okay, what? How could it not be that game, dude? No. Why? It's not Mass Effect. Why can it, it not be Mass Effect? <laughs> Ten decade old games. <laughs> like I think all three of them are a decade old by now. They gotta be. Uh some is older. Some are older, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look up Mass Effect pre release date. I need to know when this game came out. You wanna know when it came out? When did it come out? Uh two thousand twelve. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. You're right. You're right. Two thousand twelve. Two thousand twelve. It's nine years old. 
Yeah, the other one was 2007 and 2009. These are 2010, 2010. I can't believe I'm the one here telling you to stop playing old games. All right? Sometimes it be like that, Sometimes boys. it do be like that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You've been always telling me how I need to play <laughs> retro games. Right. Now here I but am. You need, to, you need to play different games. You only play Mass Effect. You need to play other video games. Man. How many times have you been like retro game, retro game? Yeah, retro Here game. Here I am playing a retro you know, game, and now you want to give me shit about it. I'm saying that there are cool retro games that you should go back to because they can enhance your experience of video games into the current. Right? They they started a mechanic, they did something cool, but you've played these games like seven times each now, and yet they still manage. I think you got a brain worm. I think you got a problem. Incredible. Oh, you got incredible. issues, dog. Incredible. Incredible. You got issues. Like, you, to be real, my other one was Halo Infinite. But the thing is, I haven't played the single player. So I can't. I didn't I, feel... I almost put Halo Infinite multiplayer. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because, like, <laughs> I was like, but I haven't played this. Like, it's, it would be wrong if I put this in there. True. I, I heard, don't know. I heard it's not that great. You want to split it and just put Halo Infinite? Or do you really think Guilty Gear is that important? I I think Guilty Gear revived fighting games. Like fighting games were in, in the general. Long, in general, wow. For the longest time, I it ro- the rollback netcode in Guilty Gear. Yeah. Revived Blaze Blue Central Fiction, a game that nobody played outside of Japan. Some would say Halo revived Halo. <laughs> what? Halo's always been popular. <laughs> Halo's never not been popular. Some would say. Mass Effect Legendary Edition has introduced a new generation of Zoomers to Mass Effect. You shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> uh, some would say that Forza 5 have introduced Zoomers to cars because, you know, they don't get their licenses anymore. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive has introduced Zoomers to fighting games. In no. In Smash tournament. is around. What are you talking about? Smash is not Zoomers do not need to be reintroduced. Dude, Smash right. is a thing. They don't even play with items. How could be a real fighting game, all right? <laughs> Come on. Dude. <laughs> You know what has items? <laughs> Guilty Gear when you play Jacko. You know what right? has items? Lots of items. In fact, items with different stats. Okay. Mass Effect. That's true. All right. But it's not the same. Very. It's you're right. Same. It's better items. Oh, my God. I got an argument for everything. Dude, it's not Mass Effect. It's a fucking decade old uh, game. It takes two. <laughs> None of us <laughs> played it. I have it. You have, have you played it? I've played the title screen. Doesn't count. <laughs> I'm saying it's Guilty Gear, baby. Oh, like the thing is, I I, I really don't care. But at the same time, <laughs> I feel Fuck like... Fuck fighting games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said the dick. What the fuck? So you better call dude, TJ. Dude, it's a strive. <laughs> no, you better go. Really? You're not going to give it to strive? I got to call TJ? Yeah, yeah, you got to oh call. Oh my god damn it. I wish you luck. What a lunatic. Uh, this. He, he's going to pick Invincible. <laughs> he's going <laughs> to... He's gonna pick fuck. You know he's gonna pick. He's gonna pick Shapes.io. <laughs> he's gonna pick Genshin Impact. He's gonna, they didn't come out this year. Oh, did it not? No, it's oh, older. Shit. And he's gonna play All right, figure f- fantasy. Dude, this guy's being a dick. Oh, he's gonna pick right. uh, he's Fantasy being, Star. He's being a, no, he's not. New he's world shit. He's being a huge butthole right now. No. All right. So we're at game of the year. It's the final one. Uh, my my runner up. Uh, was Super Mario Golf Super Rush. What? Wow. It's not going to win. Um, but my game of the year was Guilty Gear Strive. Which he gave up playing. I, that's, that's interesting. Guilty Gear, Stri- Guilty Gear Strive like, reinvigorated the fighting game community. Uh, it had me for a whole summer like labbing, looking up frame data, doing whatever, doing all that shit. This man over here... What was your runner-up again? I even forgot because I was so mad. Forza Horizon yeah, 5. Forza Horizon 5. Cars. All right. Of course. And his game of the year is the Mass <laughs> Effect collection that came out. He picked three decade-old games. But they're all new for this No, they're year. Not, only the one was redone. No, they were all redone. <laughs> <laughs> he picked three decade-old games. Dang. To compete in 2021. Remember, you don't have to pick ours. You don't. It's true. You're right. You don't. You're right, I don't. He was talking about Genshin Impact, but I'm pretty sure that came out last year. It did, but then I thought about Fantasy Star. and then That I game dog about shit. Outriders. And the... this, is, this is Game of the Year? Yeah, Game of the Year. Yeah. All right. You know what you both need to play? 
Oh, oh no. Oh, figure God. fantasy? If he says shapes.io, I'm going to lose it. If he says destiny. Destiny's, that doesn't count. Destiny doesn't count. Oh, out. he's going to tell us Grand Theft Auto. No, I don't know. No, it doesn't count either. It has to have been released this year. Oh. Oh, yes. It came out this year. Oh. What is it? Mm, okay, so Strive, Mass Effect Collection, Forza. Mario Golf. No, let's, let's ignore Golf. 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 You're right. golf is very good. I'll tell. Like we can play some golf I mean, later. It's, it's probably fun. We can play some golf later. You know what he's gonna this pick, right? Rise. Monster he's gonna Rise. pick Monster Hunter Rise. I, I ain't mad at it. Oh, that came out this year. Yeah, it did. Oh. He's gonna pick some weeb shit. He's gonna pick some. <laughs> what was the he's gonna pick some gosh. Okay, we. Okay, this doesn't count for what you pick. But what were you gonna say? What is the game we need to play? I'm gonna say you both need to, sp to play Tales. Tales of Arise. Oh, is that the is that what you're picking? No, because I don't know if I'd name it Game of the Year. I just really liked it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what? Oh. Genshin Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasy Star Online. Dude, wow. that game's bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose one of the games that you chose. Ooh. Oh no. What is it? I'm going to have to go with Forza. Forza! Oh, of course! Forza! Oh, you picked cars? <laughs> dude, you been... Oh, my God. You've been fucking me all day. What's going on, dude? Ugh. Cars! I, th I thought I was picking Strive. And I was like... And he's like, cars, though. <laughs> but cars, but though. Room, room engine go fast. It's true, though. I played the game. It's fun. Oh, man. Thanks for your participation. All right, thank you. Rooney. All right. Bye. <laughs> Can you believe it? I hate this year. Cars won. I feel so happy. Dude, 2021 is worse than 20. Cause like Forza did not get its due at the Game Awards, but here, where the awards actually game where it belongs. No, it got be best sim sports. Yeah, where it belongs. But it was good enough to be game of the year. No, it's not. It is the highest rated game this year. <laughs> Bravo for it's a Horizon I'm so 5. So sad. Racing gamers rise up. Uh, truly the most <laughs> oppressed class gamers. This is the year I got I really got into racing and my influence has been known. I hate everything that happened this award show. Oh man. So Shit. Shall we review before we get to best? Yes, I guess. Holy fuck. Best of the year is up next, and our categories that we have already chosen or spent the better part of an hour and a half deciding. All right. Anador Moss. Robbed. Omni Man. Oh, so look, you gotta say the titles. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hottest female, Anador Moss. Okay. Male crush of the year, Omni Man. I agree. Most underappreciated, uh, Osama ranking or Hell ranking yeah. of kings. Hell yeah. The disappointment of the year is Blue Period. Hell yeah. Late to the party, Escape from Tarkov. Nice. The best meme goes to F9 for family. <laughs> F9 for family. <laughs> press, press F9 for family. <laughs> Those memes are so good. Uh, best surprise goes to Arcane, the League of Legends uh show it's a pretty good show never got around to it was super robot wars 30 all right song of the year goes to smoking out the window by bruno smoking mars the tv show of the year oh my god went oh to my invincible god, invincible what the fuck movie of the year is spider-man no way home and game of the year forza horizon 5 Dude, what are you talking about dude yo your video game extra crown means shit now. Dude. <laughs> it's because we threw in a wild card. You know the rules. You weren't even going to pick Forza to be the game of the year. I didn't. <laughs> exactly. So we both got snubbed. I mean, I don't know, man. Dude, we I, both I'll got take the car snubbed. side anytime. So I'll, I'll be real with you. I really want Arcane to be best. All my all the picks I care about didn't win. We don't. Tarkov's there. Yeah. It's not. I I wouldn't pick it for this best of the year because uh, it's not a, a release. 
Okay. Like it's not an official release. I, I'm just seeing if there's any doubles, and I don't think so. I think we escaped that. Yeah, we escaped doubles. So it's not the people. It's no, unless we want to pick Omni Man as uh, best of the year, but he's kind of a war criminal. Yeah, it's not Blue Period. It's definitely not <laughs> Blue Period. I don't think the meme of family is it. It's pretty good though. For like a second, it literally we we said it out loud and it made us laugh. You know <laughs> that meme is is pretty much. As good for a quarter mile. That's pretty much all. <laughs> good for a quarter mile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not Tarkov. Um, it's not Super Robot Wars 30. Yeah, no, I can't. It's not the song. That's for sure. No. I, I'll go out loud to live and say it's not Forza Horizon I'd 5. Fight you right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I could see it either being Spider Man or Arcane. Yeah. And I've seen Arcane. Yeah. So I can totally agree with Arcane winning best of the year. It's tough for me because, like, Spider-Man, like, I cannot believe how much I love this movie. But at the end of the day... Is it I, the best Spider-Man movie? Is it the best Spider-Man movie? Better than Spider-Man with... What's his face? It's tough to answer that question because I would say yes, but it's only the best because of the influences of the previous okay. right. ones. Like, like, it, like, on its own, it would not be. It's only the best because the other ones exist. Okay. So that's why it's harder to say. But I've always been more of a TV show guy than a movie guy, and that's why I have to go with Arcane. All right, Arcane. I, I you know what? Nothing else I care about <laughs> is in here. <laughs> so <laughs> this year sucks, dude. There you have it. Cool. TNB's 2021 Best of the Year goes to Arcane. So let, before we get to our most anticipated for yeah. this year, let's let's run through the categories. All right, go let's for run it. Let's run through our finalists. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so, hottest female of the year, Anna the Kornikova. Anna Darmas Anna from Dar Armas. 007, No Time to Die. Not even the hottest Bond girl in that movie. Wow. Damn. How dare you. Hottest male, Omni-Man. From Invincible. Everybody loves a man who does war crimes. Everyone loves a dad who's evil. <laughs> Underappreciated of the year is Ranking of Kings. Of course, this podcast proves it. Damn. <laughs> uh, disappointment of the year is Blue Period. Yeah. Hot damn, they were in that anime. Uh huh. Late to the Party Award, Escape from Tarkov Beta. She's yeah, yeah. Good. It oh was. my god. Absolutely. Uh, best meme, best of May May is. Shut up with the May. <laughs> with the May. Best uh... May May is Fast Nine for uh... Family. Damn. Press F9 for Family. Yeah. Uh, best surprise is Arcane. Surprisingly good. How did that get... Okay, yeah, yeah. New, never got around to it award is uh, Super Robot Wars 30. Yes. Song of the Year, Smoking Out the Window by Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. Mm. TV show of the year, in, in, it's invincible, but it's, it's not really invincible. No, it, I mean, it's... Like, it's on paper. It's on it's paper. Invincible. In our hearts. <laughs> it's arcane. Sorry, it's Osama Rain. Oh, wow. Uh, movie of the year, Spider-Man Into the spider -Man. No Way Home. No Way Home. No mm. Way Home. Mm. And game of the year oh, yes, is baby. Forza 5. Oh, baby. Cars. Forza Horizon 5. Sorry. Cars, baby. Cars. Cars are so dumb. I love cars. Cars are pretty cars cool. Cars are great. Cars are pretty cool. But car games. Oh, even better. They're they're I they're okay. Uh, it's because you don't got a sim rig. You know what? If if we're if there's ever a remaster of Midnight Club Three Dub Edition, yeah. I'm going to bat <laughs> for Midnight Club Three Dub Edition. You do whatever you want to do. It's good. All right. And our best of the year. Yeah. Arcane. Just the, the best thing. Uh, League of Legends story. Wild. Absolutely wild. Nice. Wicked. Yeah. Whew. Any closing thoughts you want to have on 2021, Anthony? I'm surprised, like, how still in lockdown we kind of are. That kind of sucks. Yeah. But compared to 2020, I got a lot of shit done. I'm actually really proud of myself this year. For finishing school. For finishing school with distinction. Literally, mm. like, top of my class. That's good. And because I only say this because in high school, I'm a dog shit student. Mm. I've always been a bad student. Do you think you would have gotten the same distinctions if we didn't have the pandemic and you weren't at home studying all the time? I think I would have done better. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because when we when the time a couple months I did go to school, yeah, I was always in the library. Oh, okay. but the okay. thing was, yeah. I could also network with teachers and ah, stuff. So okay. I think I would have had more opportunity. Fair I think it just had something to do with age, mm. like the fact that I'm older and I realize what school can give you, and it's really what you put into it is what you'll get out of it type yeah. of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I actually had like old Facebook posts, like you have memories on this day. And there was one who's like, oh my God, organizational behavior is like the worst class ever. I hate it. And it turns out you love it. It turns out I took a whole degree on basically that concept <laughs> and I loved it. So it, it's really what you put into it. And it's, it's one of those things where like I look back and I'm like, you really expected me to pick my career at 18? Holy fuck. <laughs> like, I know it's tough. It's, it's tough. tough. It's tough. Uh, but I, I thought this year was was pretty good. You know, I focused on me. Uh, I got to do a bunch of stuff. I, I learned a lot about myself. It was, it was good. I liked it. Mm-hmm. It was fun times. Mm-hmm. How about you, Vince? It's tough to say. I mean, like, this year I definitely, spent, like, like like many people, spent a lot more time at home. It's definitely not a normal year, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess we all came into 2021 hoping that it would be more of a return to, like, 2019, but it wasn't. Um so being at home and like really i i think this year i actually committed more to things that i could like i committed more to improving my i don't want to say improving my life but improving my comfort at home okay right like building out the sim rig like i like i, I was like i'm not going on trips this year like mm-hmm. that's it so like that budget will go to something something right um you know just things like that and yeah, it's been cool. Like, it's cool to be at home and, like, have all this cool stuff. But it also was the year that, like, it really cemented that, like, for as much as an introvert as I am, like, I need to be out of this house. Like, I can't. I Like, I do like waking up and going somewhere to work. It is the, the thing we said before of uh, there's a difference between having to stay in and choosing to stay in. Yeah, absolutely. And like there are moments, there were moments throughout the year where, like I got to hang out with my team and like, you know, I know it's work and like people always like to complain about work, but at the end of the day like it's it's nice to have that kind of variety in your life and I really do miss it. Like it really makes you value the time that I have to like spend on other things that I like enjoying, right? Mm-hmm. Um to be honest, I think like one of the things is like I when you're at home, like I don't know, I, I guess for some people you know, you just, you wake up and do the grind and like, that's your job and like, mm-hmm. whatever you get paid. And like, yeah, that's fine. If that's work for you, that works for you. But like, I think I, like, I thought I could be like that. And for the most part, I'm still like that, but it's really like come to my attention that like, I I really want to, I don't know if I need to care a hundred percent about the topic or like the, the scope that I'm working at, mm-hmm. but I do need to feel like I am at least contributing. And when I'm at home, just punching numbers and data in, mm-hmm. you just don't see what that amounts to. Like, yeah. You would only really see that, I guess like end of projects or meeting. Yeah. Or... But like the day to day, you don't understand the impact you're yeah. making, even though you are making an impact, you don't see it. And I think like, it's like this, it's small things like that that really break my motivation to just continue working. Like I, like no doubt this year I've worked, I don't know, very little, like only when necessary. Time but, to become a neat. Let's not, <laughs> let's, no, let's not. Uh, but like, but that's like more on the career side of things. And like, I definitely am like in that mind space of like, oh, okay, I got to think also got to think about like what I want to do next with my life. Cause instead of just like, I feel like I'm kind of coasting at like a, just a meandering pace right now. Mm-hmm. And I, 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 I want to do something different. I need to change. So like, I think 2022 will be the year assuming like even, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with like the pandemic or whatnot, but I do want to make bigger changes to my life in terms of like, whether that means job or living situation or location or whatnot. Like I definitely need to change it. All right. Um, yeah. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's it's been a year. Yes. Mm. It has been slightly better than the year previous. Yeah, I guess I would say that. Yeah. I mean, we're not all like in super panic mode cuz there was that time where it was like two months, don't go anywhere. Yeah. I I didn't give a shit. <laughs> oh no, it's not that like, like I know what you mean, but like we couldn't even though we would leave it's no, not like we could do anything. No, but like the thing I, I think I learned mm. is I am uh, dangerously okay with staying home all the time. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I was sitting here and I'm like, you know what? If I had my own space, I would stay here all the time. Yeah. Like I think that's how it was for me too. But yeah. I, I had zero issue with yeah. like 
you can't go anywhere. I'm like, sick. <laughs> I've been training for this all my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no. Like, I, I agree. Yeah, I yeah. agree. But, like, yeah. It is definitely eye-opening. Um, but, yeah. Uh, what about for the show? How, what do you think is going to happen in 2022 with this show? I don't know. With the Three Nuzzles of the Basement podcast. I still feel like we got to change that branding. Yeah, we should. Maybe it's too late. Should. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know, I got that sick internet. True. I don't know what that means. And we got those these separate mics now. Oh, we could live stream. I was gonna say, like I have the we have the capability capability to live stream. To just live stream the show now. I'm super down. I just I haven't looked into the logistics of that. I've only gotten this far. Getting into so I don't think we're gonna do separate cameras or anything. No, like two video feeds. It would just be one. Yeah. But I think that'd be easy enough to figure out. Well, the only problem is I don't think we could do it off my MacBook. So you're gonna buy the MacBook Pro? No. Hell yeah, no. baby! You just no. said you're burning money, dude. Let's no, 2022 is not the time. for 4K money. on a MacBook, no, kid. You got no, no, work no. benefits? Blow no, them. No, 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 no. Dude, you work that corporate lifestyle. Ugh, gross. Didn't you just get a bonus? No. Well, it hasn't arrived yet. But okay, so there you go. <clears throat> let's put that for other things. Uh, yeah, for another Mac. No, it's for another car. But oh uh, my god, you <laughs> got a car. Pay it off. <sighs> No, I gotta get rid of that car. Oh my god, Jesus um, Christ! But yeah, who knows? Maybe we you will see us on the live. Yeah, stream. the fact that we got separate mics is pretty sick. Um, I'm totally down to live stream. And yeah, dude, Patreon. Like I mean, if you after want after dark if, episode, if not, about some bullshit. Sure, if you want to, I don't know. I don't know. Dating advice oh, segment. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What are our thoughts? Was 9-11 really an inside job? Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're going to kill it before it starts. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, no, I think live would be cool. And then I guess for the podcast, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I like the format. It's pretty good. Um, I think just because I'm done school now and I can get back to work, I can actually focus more on trying to contribute stuff other than being like, I did a lot of homework today. <laughs> I don't do much more than that. But I'm saying that we could both, you know, watch more stuff, be caught up with the news more, have more spicy takes. You think just because you're done school, you're going to have all this free time? Yeah. Right now, I do. Bullshit. Uh, listen, until someone hires me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have all this free time. You didn't see Spider-Man. True. True. <laughs> I didn't you know what I would have saw it if I had somebody to see it with. Someone asked you. Who asked me? Blavin asked you. I was I I couldn't see it that day. Cause you had to do laundry. Cause I had to do chores. Bro, bro, what? Yeah, I did, I had to help my parents. I promised my parents early in the week that I had to. I helped them around the house. You couldn't just kill three hours. I couldn't do it. Oh, wow. How dare you? And he was gonna want to see it in the day. As one should. <laughs> Midday. <laughs> go in. Come out. Sun's still out. Damn, son. That's what. That's the time. I just couldn't. Right? Wow. It was wow. unfortunate timing. Wow. All right. But yeah. Cool. I don't know. I, I think I like everyone with New Year's resolutions, it's always like be fit and do all that stuff. So So what's your resolution? Be fit and do all that stuff? Be be fit, I guess. Or like do any physical activity at all. Okay. If I if I you know what? I'll try and cycle at least once a week. Okay, but don't do it in the winter. I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> No, no, no. In the summer, I'll try to cycle. I don't know. I just... It's one of those things where, like, I am totally fine with being inside, but I know I need to do something, and I think I think I need to find that something that doesn't feel like work. That doesn't feel like, oh, I have to go here to work out. I have to find something that is physical and fun. So, you want to go racing? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> go professional go-karting? No. Bike racing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> suddenly less enthused. <sighs> All right. I guess. Well, my resolution is, you know, to catch up on Bleach the anime. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, but what are you excited for for next year? What's going on? Uh, you got like got some games, movies. I feel like there's a there's a lot of games I want to play. To be honest, I think in like two weeks we're all going to be on Monster Hunter Rise on the PC. Hell yeah, baby! So like that's like in like the Dude. short term, like that's the game I'm looking forward to, like jumping on with the boys. I'm but te- I'm telling you right now. This is the start of our streaming career. I got my most viewers when I stream Monster Hunter World, mm. and I really enjoy Monster Hunter Rise. Mm. So, if TNIB streams 
Monster Hunter play with the audience. I guess we have to on the PC. I guess we Private have to. lobbies. I'm surprised that didn't come up in your game of the year. What? Monster Hunter. It was good. Because what you're telling me is that golf was better than Monster Hunter. I played a lot of golf this year. Are you telling me you put more hours into golf than Monster Hunter? Not not really. But also, I that game is so easy. <laughs> uh, golf is not... Sorry, Monster Hunter Rise is so easy. Because honestly, I thought I was going to have to convince you not to pick Monster Hunter. As game year. of the year? Yeah. No, no it wasn't the game of the year. Okay, but yeah, rises. So I really hope that Sunbreak, Dawnbreak. I mean, it's crash. not it's not Super Samurai Weeb shit, so it's gonna be good now. Yeah, I really hope that. No, what? No, you know why World was so great? Why? Because it was not Samurai That's Weeb bullshit. shit. No, coincidence <laughs> is not causation or whatever the fuck it is. Yes, <sighs> correlation is not. Good. I'm sorry, I took science. You did not. I learned it's this. It's true. It's true. You did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, don't know, game. I want, really want to play Sifu, like, real bad. Yeah, that game looks cool. I think, as much as, like, I like to dog on Gran Turismo, yeah, it's such an important game for the genre that I'm very excited for it. Cool. And there's all, was it everything got delayed to February? Yeah, so there's everything. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. did you see, though, that Final Fantasy 16 got delayed half a year? Did you, did you think it wasn't? I mean... <laughs> Hoping. <laughs> I was hoping. I was hoping, man. I was hoping. Listen, we're all gonna play Splatoon three when it comes out next year. We're gonna get into Splatoon esports. Yeah. No. Absolutely not. no. I mean, like, I would love. I I can't wait for the next season of Arcane. Obviously, the new Spider Verse movie looks awesome. I'm actually really curious to know what happens to the MCU because now, like, I obviously now that I've seen No Way Home, I've obviously done my. Um, and we're gonna see Doctor Strange. Yeah, like I've I've done my catch up on the MCU with my girlfriend so we're all yeah. caught up mm-hmm. and like I'm super into it again but also like what happens now like I, I really want to know because I have not yet been convinced as to why we should care or continue nice and like I am, I've watched all the shows I've watched Hawkeye mm-hmm. right like I tell, tell me about it next week I will tell you about it next all week right. but like, like, I've, like I'm, I'm 100% caught up so now it's just like I still don't know why I should be caring about or like what there is to pull you in to continue on this journey. Fair. Um, so that's what that's what I, I'm just more curious to see what's gonna happen there. I also want to know if there's anything happening with Star Wars. Like what is the story with Star Wars? No, we give a shit about Star Wars. Wow. Star Wars dog shit. Nice. What the fuck? Dude, no one cares. Uh, I'm looking for the forward to the next, you know, bit of news we get about Mass Effect. <laughs> Stop bring <laughs> let go. Let go. Man, that teaser, man. <laughs> Let go. Which one two is the year? Dude, it's not going to be good. It's because it's going to be great. Oh, my God. It's right, going to be you know great. What? I'll let you hold on to your hopes and dreams. It's going to be great. Santa Claus is real. I don't know. Just, like, there's a lot of cool things. Like, in the toy world, like, I'm looking forward to, like... Uh, you going to buy toys this year? You just offloaded, like, half your shit. I did. But there are... For more room for more stuff, baby. Yeah, absolutely. No, like, there's Gundam things I've been wanting to try out. Um, I feel like I have... I'm, I'm ready to return, and, like, I want to pick up an airbrush. Really? Yeah, like, I, I want to... Like, I do... Unfortunately, as much as I love my sim racing stuff, like, yeah. everything I do is too digital. You want that tactile? I do, and I I need something else where I can be a bit more creative. You want to finish so. my stickers? That's not my what master that, grade That's Sazabee. not what I was getting Dude, at. Come on, please! I just don't want to do it anymore. No, there's no. so many stickers. No, but um, yeah. So like that's that's the kind of stuff that I'm I'm hoping to get into more of. Right. Um, yeah, obviously fitness is still key. I need to be better at dieting though. Like that's my real that's concern. That's stupid. Don't diet. That's dumb. <sighs> Like, I don't know if you saw. Oh, you haven't been in the other room. You know what my mom got me for Christmas? Okay. All my favorite chocolate. Nice. Like, that's it. Can I have some? Yeah, like, Sick. I have so much chocolate. Yeah. You know what? You know what that's good for? After a workout. High calories, low volume, replenish like, your body. I've, I've, I've been having to give some of it away. Give it to me. No. What? No. Who are you giving it to? Me? I'm looking out for you. Looking out for me. Because oh, you said you were on this new health thing. You, I, I told you this now. You didn't <laughs> yeah, tell me this before. Yeah, I'm looking out for you. Oh my uh, god. Look at this guy. Retroactive. <laughs> Good Samaritan. Jesus Christ. I'd be like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always looking out for the little guy. Oh my god. I'm taller than you. <laughs> the fuck? I'm always looking out for the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm taller and heavier than you. 
but you're younger, so I'm always looking out for you. You got me there. Cause you're, uh, yeah. I'm a babby. Yeah, absolutely. That's the one. But yeah, I think that's that's what I, I hope 2022 ends up being good. I hope that we can do things again. We probably won't. We, have, I think we'll be able to do more stuff. If this, if the way, this is, I'm not a scientist, all right. This is not science. Okay. If the way that this thing is evolving continues, like in the Omicron variant. It'll eventually get high, highly infective, but it won't do anything. So it'll be like a common cold. They're working on things like COVID pills where you can take it if you get the symptoms and it does stuff. Like The whole world is working together to deal with. The whole world's been working since 2020. Yeah. And the, fact that, 2020. and the fact that we got a vaccine that suppresses your uh, reaction to it in a year mm. is fucking insane. That's in, that's unheard of. It is. It is. It is. It's so sick. Mm. So cool. Yeah. I, I guess. I'm yeah, sure it'll only get crazier. I so. hope so. We'll see. And Look, I guess. Unless China nukes us with their new sick low orbit missile. Oh, that's true. I wonder what the world geography is going to look like. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess the last thing for me is I just. um. I want to see Lewis Hamilton come back and crush everyone. In dude, the court, in get over it. He's washed up, dude. Yo, you shut washed. your face. Did he win this year? Oh Yo, I didn't think God. so. He got wrong. Washed up. Wrong. Washed up plus irrelevant plus ratio. Get out of here, kid. How, why, why are you rooting against? Yo. Why? Kinda, why are you rooting really, against the, the minority? Like a baka. Whoa. Right. Oh, fuck. All right. This kid's not cool. He's uh, out of touch. Out of touch. I've had enough of you. Get out of here. Everyone knows. All right. Last words before we go. Max Verstappen going to win it. 2022, kid. That's, that's your last word. 2022. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no. Keep. You know what? It's, it's, it's easy to keep a negative outlook on the upcoming year. No, it's not. But you know what? Just it's all positive, baby. Everything's gonna get better. You know, I think my life's gonna get better. I hope it does. Jump off a bridge, maybe. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's gonna make it better. Yeah, you know, because it's over. Damn. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I think there's. I don't know. It, it. I think there's a lot of stuff that's been weighing on us, but I think people are getting a used to it, and b we're moving away. Because 2021 was exceptionally better than 2020. 2020. So. Fair enough. Unless something crazy happens, like the fucking oil wars or some wild shit we can't predict, or meteor strikes, like I think we're gonna, I think it's gonna get better. Cool, so yeah, wicked. Keep it positive. We're gonna have more episodes for you. Awesome. Maybe I'll stream. I'll finally fucking stream more. Maybe I will too. Do I stream deck yet? You'll never know. All right. Let's know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see all right, all right, whatever what about you last words uh, words of advice no you're right you know why because Lewis Hamilton sucks balls whoa <laughs> whoa nah I just want to say uh, it's been a year and next year will be another one it just ended there it's been a year <laughs> over <laughs> uh, thanks for listening yeah thanks guys cool bye bye